Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And first off, I got the charger working. For some reason, the Enderio energy conduits, conduits did not want to mix with this network. So when I actually thought that the machines were working, they were running off the batteries in here. So um, I made a separate steam dynamo and infinite water source and hooked it up and it worked straight away because I did a, you know, watched a couple of different videos and everybody did the same thing. So that was, that was a bit strange. Sorry, I'm still a bit stuffed up from after last week. I, I can't get rid of this stupid cold. So, um, so yeah. So that's working. So when we're ready, we can go on to, um, <coughs> excuse me, to this part of the quest pack that we were trying to do. Um, today, I want to do, where are we? The begin, no, the begin, oh. Oh, we've got more stuff. Cluster mill, centrifuge. Oh, nice. Annealed copper, best furnace fun. What's best furnace fun? It sounds like we're getting better stuff. Farming. But it needs best furnace fun, whatever that is. Okay, sorry. So, oh, blast furnace fun. Which is this. Okay, um, yes. I want to do grains of infinity. And try to do basic capacitor bank. So grains of infinity will require you to mine all the way down to bedrock level. Use flint and steel to light a fire of many fires and then wait for it to go out. There's a 50% chance of grains of infinity to appear for every fire. If you're creative, it's possible to automate this with some of the later machines. Okay, so we need to make a flint and steel. And, <coughs> excuse me, do we make this in the regular way or are they going to require us to make actual steel for a flint and steel? Flint and a steel nugget. Okay. Um, flint. Flint, flint, flint. Do we have any? I might have. I might have some in the chest in the front. Um. <coughs> excuse me. I really. Ha oh, we have a flint and steel. Okay. I have no idea where that came from, but that's fine. Alright, and grains of infinity. So, let's get... Let's empty out our inventory. Actually, let's put some of this stuff in here. Don't need any of this. Do we have food? I don't even know if we have food. We'll probably need food. Uh, let's take the beef and smelt it up. I'll just put it all in the thing. Um, I don't know why I'm being selective. Because I'll just end up dumping them in anyway. Ah, uh, redstone, put that in. We've got everything else. This can go in because I don't want to lose that. Um, furnace, I've moved it in the back here. Let's get some food. And I see. Oh, yeah, I've been smelting stuff as well. All right, that's plenty of food. Let's go down to bedrock. I've got my. Can we go down this way? No, we need to go around this way. Got my sword. That's all I need, kind of. Hopefully we won't see any nasties on our way down. I have done dug down to bedrock. That was one of the first things I did, so that's cool. I oh, really, I honestly have to fix that floor. All right, hopefully there's nothing down here. I think I've lit it up well enough so that we don't have anything. Let's have a quick look. There's a lot of water. Well, no, I think we're good. 
I think we're good. Okay. Let's stick close to the stairs. Okay. So you you like the bed? Oh God. You like the bedrock on fire. You don't light yourself on fire. And then as the fire goes out, you end up with grains of infinity. You're supposed to hear a ticking as well. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't have my in-game sounds turned up too high. At least I don't think so. Yesterday I was recording and didn't have any in-game sounds. And then when I actually listened to the recording, it turned out I did. Oh, look. See, there's some on the floor. I don't know if you saw those jump out. Well, we're here. We might as well try and get as many as possible. I don't know how you would automate this, but I'll have to look for some inspiration. Yeah, maybe I should do that. And I've made a ring of fire. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can get to those grains of infinity before they despawn. Let's see if I can... No. Nope. Some there, there's seeing two jump out here. It's quite, we've got quite a bit. I'm not sure how many. Oh, 12. That's everything? 15. That's not too bad. Let's wait for this to go out. Come on, hurry up, we're waiting on you. You're burning a long time. Does that mean we're. No. No, it doesn't mean. Never mind. Okay. So we've got 15 grains of infinity. Which should do us for now. Or maybe I should leave the holes in the floor because it's good. It's a good deterrent. If mobs are trying to get to me, they won't be able to get over the holes. So yeah, it's a it's a mob trap maybe. But it's probably too well lit for mobs anyway. Okay. What else do we need to do now? All right. So we claim our omni pennies. Um. Basic capacitor bank, capacitor bank, and it stores some RF power. Okay, so we need dark steel plates, basic RF capacitors, a power buffer, which is red alloy plates, block of redstone, and iron plates. I say, so we need red alloy, we need dark steel, we need those. Uh, okay. That's red alloy, isn't it? Yeah. So let's make those into plates. Do you get two for one with these? I can't remember. Or is it one to one? It's one to one. Okay. Uh, dark steel plates. Uh, we need dark steel and we need iron. Dark steel. Is that dark steel? Yes. I should really put hoppers on top of these so that I could get... I should get some kind of automation going. Um, what else do we need? Basic RF capacitors. At least for... For Ender IO, you need those for everything. So I've made a lot. It's a lot of grinding in this. But, I mean, they did say so. They did say there was going to be a lot of grinding. And we wanted iron plates as well. Right, can we make anything yet oh block of redstone okay we got that to open up anything else no 
All right, let's go back to the energy acceptor. All right, Fluix has made the normal way. Check JEI for more information if you are not familiar. All right, so to make Fluix crystals, um, one charge nether quartz, one charge certis quartz, one nether quartz, and one redstone in a puddle of water. Okay. Alright, so one redstone, one certis quartz, and is that one nether quartz? Certis quartz, nether quartz. Nether quartz, I think, is this one. Yes, in a puddle of water. First of all, we got to charge the certis quartz. And then that should, that's charged it. There you go. And we need a puddle of water. We should probably make one round there. But I have one over here. Alright, so let's get things. A redstone. There you go. Thank you. Oh, okay. I thought they had to be made in a in a growth chamber and an energy acceptor. So Fluix plates, electrical steel plates, machine hull. Okay. Let's make some more then. Let's see if we can make a stack. So a stack of that. I oh, know, but I don't have a stack of Certus Quartz. Uh, Certus Quartz. Okay, so if we make and I can't count. There you go. <sighs> Mix up. Do your thing. Nope. You saw me do it. I did manage I managed to get it done. Let's try again. If not, I'm gonna have to go offline and play with this. Oh good grief. I know all of you were yelling at the at the the at the PC and going, Shane, charge the Certis Quartz. No wonder it's not working. Oh my word. It's a pity you can't charge the I think you can you can upgrade the charger so that it would charge a stack. I'm not really that brilliant with um with AE2. I mean I've I mean I made an AE2 setup in my Autonotom series, which you should be watching. And um yeah, so that was like the first proper one that I'd made and that it was working and all of that. But I've never, <coughs> sorry, I've never really played with AE2. If I'm given an option between AE2 and refined storage, I will do refined storage. Because refined storage is so much simpler. There you go. Right, let's try this again. And of course that didn't happen.
We didn't make any mistakes. We knew what we were doing. It was a test. I was testing you guys to make sure that you were awake and that you knew what you were doing. And yeah, that's that's what it was. It was a test. Okay. Work. Thank you. Okay, so we've got 24 fluids crystals. And what do we need to make the energy acceptor? Ah, fluix plates and electrical steel plates. Um, fluix electrical steel. How do you make electrical steel? Ah, uh, com no. Alloy smelter, electrical steel and mold. Right, how do you make electrical steel? Electrical steel dust. Oh, good grief. Is electrical steel something I can get or is that something I have to make? Sometimes you go jump through hoops just to get certain things. Electrical steel. You have to jump through hoops just to. All right, electrical steel dust. No, electrical steel ingot. <laughs> Alloy smelter, steel and silicon. Thank you. Oh yes, we ran out. Of, did we run out of silicon? We have one. Okay. Alright, well, I will go and make some electrical steel, then I will come back and we will carry on with the energy acceptor. Okay, um, right, made the electrical steel. Um, why did I make iron plates? I don't know. Oh, maybe I made too many. That's why. Crystal growth chamber. Okay. Um, electrical steel plates. Um, okay. I'm missing the machine hull. Do I have any of those made? That looks like some. Yes. Hello, Mr. Enderman. I can hear you. I don't know where you are. But I can hear you. You're not in my base. Okay. Cool. And we have our, our energy acceptor. Right. So... And what do what um crystal growth chamber. So you need the crystal growth chamber, certis quartz seeds, nether quartz seeds, fluic seed, pure oh god, that's grindy. Okay, well grindy is the name of the game, isn't it? Do we continue down that path? Because that is to get... That is to get our... Our centralised sorting. Our centralised system. Storage system. Alright, what do we need? Charge Certis Quartz. Uh, machine Hull. Dark Steel Bars. I'm going to have to go and look for... 
Certis Quartz. No, I can buy... Look, buddy. Are you gone? I am recording. I need you. Where are you gone? I don't know where he's gone. I don't know where he's gone. Go away. I'm recording. Go away. Oh, God. Where you gone? You're... Yeah. You, you, you're scared? Have I scared you? Me? Ha! Right, I don't know where it's gone. It's in the base somewhere. Right, can't be bothered with him. Right, so, the grindy stuff. I hear you. You can't even fight like an enderman. Come on. Right, whatever. I should have really slept and let the rain go away, because the rain's just going to make him buzz around the base even more. There you go, that should stop the rain. Yeah, and oh, we were checking to see if I could buy Certus Quartz. Um, Certus Quartz Crystal, can I buy that? Autoclave. Oh! In the Autoclave, do I have Certus Quartz? Can I make, can I buy that? That's that kind of lilac -y one. I think I might have some of that. Um. Yes. So we can make those in the autoclave. Where's the autoclave? Uh, wire mill autoclave. Water. And a stack of that, and that should give us... Oh, awesome. But then I don't have to worry about buying it. We can make it. Okay, so that's doing. Um, right, so what do we need? We need a crystal growth chamber, which needs dark steel and charged surface quartz machine hull. Dark steel bars, dark steel rods, lathe we don't have, extruder we don't have. How do you make an extruder? Oh, they're all advanced stuff. Okay. A lathe. Can you make a basic lathe? I think we could make that. We've got... Yeah, we should be able to make that. A piston, a motor and tin cables okay the hell what, what what is wrong with you um piston a motor why is it enderman like my base a diamond and some tin. Where's the tin? All these ingots look the same. Uh, tin is that kind of that grey one? I think. No, that's silver. That's tin. Alright, let's put back the silver. Um, macerator compressor wire mill is up here. I think I need three tin. All right, lace. Uh, 
uh, oh, circuits. Two circuits and a thingy. I should really put the circuits up there. I was watching a video, can't remember whose it was, um, but he did say when you've got to do stuff, just make a stack of everything, if you can, which is what I've been, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Which is what which is what I've been trying to do. What am I missing now? Tin cable. Have I not got I've got tin wire. Oh Yeah, I've been trying to make as many as I can at any given time. Was it three? I think it was three. Right, lace. Uh, we have space here. Okay, so I was also watching somebody else and they were saying you should turn off allow overclocking. I don't know if it makes the machines more efficient if you turn it off. I did with some of them, but not all of them. But now I'm talking about watching people because obviously, as you know, I'm tech mods not my thing never really i've i've always been kind of afraid of tech mods because in real life i'm not particularly technical i like computers i can you know i can not fix them but you know like software problems that kind of thing i can deal with that but when it comes to like really technical stuff like electricity and all that kind of stuff it's a bit of a bit of a mystery so um so yeah, so it's 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 a challenge for me to do all of this. Um, why did we make the lathe? I can't remember. We were going to do something. Crystal growth chamber. Oh yes, dark steel bars, dark steel rods, and you get those from the lathe. So dark steel. dark steel there's any oh no we didn't I ran out of dark steel didn't I ah fooey I've got to make some more okay I've just glanced across at my clock and it's that time it's time for me to stop recording so what I'm going to do then is get all of that ready for next week so at least get that sorted and open up that side what's this oh well oh yeah we're not going to get that phosphorus dust pulverization phosphor ore centrifuge i don't think i have any phosphate at all so i'm going to have to go looking for no do i What's that? Pitch blend. Glowstone. Yeah, I don't know if I've actually got any phosphorus. Pitch blend. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go looking for phosphorus as well. I should really stick to one, <laughs> to, to, to one thing. Hmm. All right, we will see how far we can get with AE2 because I need a centralized system. Otherwise, it's just, yeah. So let's stick with this for now. We will keep going down that quest line as much as we can and try and get as much done as possible because I need, I need a centralized system. Then I can put everything in the system and everything will be fine and it will make li our lives a whole lot easier. Energetic, energetic alloy. Oh, but you need the blast furnace. Uh, okay, and you get 100 Omni pennies for the blast furnace. So that's the next, that's one of the other big things. Let's see how far we can get with AE2. And then we can concentrate on everything else. So today's been a bit of a mishmash. 
but we got quite a few things done we at least we're getting we got the charger sorted i mean that really did stump me until i thought let me just hook it up to something else and then it worked so that was a bit random i'm here knocking things off my desk as i talk to you so yeah that was a bit random but we've got that sorted and um we've opened up ender io a little bit more and we've opened up um uh 82 a little bit more and i wonder why they haven't told you to make a meteorite compass now i think about it so you can look for presses and so on but anyway that's getting ahead of ourselves thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye